Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Greetings everybody. Uh, let's continue our discussion of uh, euro currency. This is the daily video research from the forexpsami.com. And as on the previous day, we will start from the 4 hour chart because on the daily time frame still uh, is nothing very interesting. The recent price action was very uh, calm and smooth. So uh, we will start from the intraday charts. And yesterday, as you remember, we have discussed the possibility of reaching this target. This is the 100% expansion from the A, B, C bottom pattern. And market hit 618. And yesterday I said that look at this pattern. The legs of A, B, and C, D absolutely different. They be much st steeper leg. And when the C, D leg is flatter, it tells us that market will meet around 100% expansion target, the solid resistance. So very often when the CD leg is flatter than AB, it leads to a reversal around the 100% target, so around 143.09. So market had, has hit it a couple hours ago, it's right here. Okay. Then another possibility is we also discussed during the almost the whole week, this butterfly sell pattern with the target 144.10 roughly. This is 127 expansion from this high to this low. So here's the butterfly. Well, also, as you can see, just be below this target stands 4 hour confluence resistance 143.70, 143.77. So around 143.80 roughly area. 144. This is the next area of strong resistance. Well, although we can see that for our trend currently bullish, this red line is the MACD predictor. It shows us the trend when the market is above the red line. Trend is bullish. When it's below, it trend is bearish. So this is almost the same as the MACD, but uh, it has not the couple of lines, but it has only one line, and instead of the second line, it has the price. So that's how it works. Well, some more details we can see on the hourly chart. It's right here. So you can see this the right wing of the whole butterfly. So this triangle. Okay. On the hourly chart, it looks bigger. Now this our pattern. This is A, B, C. Well, market has hit this target. Also take a look. Just at the end of this consolidation, you can see this butterfly sell pattern. And market has touched 127 expansion. It's right here, 143.30. So market had hit it pips to pips and shown some sell off from it. Also, take a look at the 1618 target. 1618 target stands precisely at the area of 4 hour confluence resistance, 143.66, where also stands the target, the greater butterfly that we have discussed on the 4 hour chart. Also, here we can see this some um, bearish wedge that is forming on the market. And this wedge is forming with the simultaneous forming of the divergence, bearish divergence with the MACD indicator. What all of this stuff tells us? Well, first of all, we'll, we see the obvious, we see some weakness in this move to the upside because it coincides with the divergence on the hourly chart. It takes the way of the bearish wedge. Okay, so also, uh, from this ABCD pattern, we see that the CD leg is much slower than AB. This is also the bearish sign. Well, still, the major targets that left on the market currently from this intraday pattern stands around 144 area. It's right here. From the hourly butterfly, stands very close to the 144, 143.66. This great butterfly has the target around 144.10 and also this 4 hour confidence resistance. Although we see that bearish power is rising currently during the current move, probably market still could reach this area today and touch these targets before the solid sell-off will start. 
well, in general, be careful because uh, I don't like this move to the upside and it uh, looks for me some unnatural. So this is some kind of retracement. Well, if we speak about the momentum trade on the weekly time frame, I think that this is not the start of this trade because usually when market tends to show some solid retracement on the weekly time frame, it looks like this very strong upside move on the intraday charts and on the mm, daily time frame. But this move is just mm, something mm, like the retracement wave. Possibly this is, if we, you're uh, familiar with the Elliott Waves theory, so I suppose that this is the third wave and this is the uh, fourth wave. So this is the retracement of wave. We, we, we still could see some additional f fifth wave to the downside, although it could be, uh, it uh, could show some truncation. Maybe it will not uh, exceed the extreme of the third wave, but in general we could see at least some solid retracement to the downside and probably particular this uh, possible retracement to the downside. Mm, you can treat it uh, as fifth wave is you, if you are a follower of the Elliott wave. For others, for others it's just uh, uh, will be the retracement due to some, possibly even due to this butterfly cell. Okay? And Particular, maybe particular, this retracement will allow us to enter on the long side of the market uh, just to take a part and uh, ride the momentum of the weekly, previous uh, weekly strong move up. So that's my current view on the situation. Be careful. Uh, well, uh, and I do not trust very much to this current move and um, be, be ready for the uh, reversal at any time because market has hit 100% target. Probably it could pass. Uh, furthermore about the 50-60 pips but, but keep an eye on this area if market will reach it uh, be sensitive to any uh, even shallow sell signals that could appear on the intraday charts in this area and probably if you are holding long positions currently I think that's better to um, exit around this uh, area